In DaVinci 11, Blackmagic Design redesigned the qualifier tab. They added way more powerful features that enables us to pull clean keys out of way lower resolution images. To access the qualifier tab, this is the qualifier tab here, the second one. You have three different types of qualifiers in DaVinci Resolve. You can qualify your footage based on a combination of hue, saturation, and luma, or RGB, red, green, and blue channels, or only luma. The difference here is how Resolve uses different algorithms to understand the color. So sometimes your key can be built better with luma, sometimes with RGB or HSL. You just have to try different approaches. The new things that we have with uh, DaVinci 11 is these three options here. You have the denoise, black clip, and white clip. What this means is that now when we pull a key, we can actually denoise the key. We're not denoising the footage, we're only denoising the key itself. Let's take a look on how this might work here. First, I'm going to activate the highlight mode. I can do that by clicking here, or with the new Resolve, there's an option now to click here on the highlights mode. Now when we activate highlights mode, all of a sudden the image is white, that's because the whole image is selected. With highlights mode, you have three different options here, which is just a normal highlights mode, highlights with black and white, or highlight differences. So we have to choose highlights here and make sure that we're in highlights here. And now we're going to drag over the red color of the car, Okay, and notice that we're selecting some stuff in the back. Now, the first thing that we can do now is to denoise our selection. What this is doing now is that it's denoising our mat. Now, let's go into black and white mode and take a look at this. With black and white mode, whatever is white is basically being controlled by the current knot, and whatever is black is not. The next nice feature here is that we can actually black clip our footage. This is basically a gradient. So what we will do, we'll go to black clip and start clipping some of the blacks in the back. So take a look at this. The more we pull in, we're cutting more of the stuff that we don't want in the background. Let's try to clip some of the white. See, look at this part here in the car. Okay, and whenever white is not being clipped, we have some of the stuff that is gradient. And this is a part of the car. I actually want to select this. So I'm going to clip the white parts. This is a very beautiful key. Now I'm going to add a very little blower and that's it. Now I'm going to deactivate the highlights mode and just make the car more red. Of course, notice that some of the uh, fence in the background is being also selected. So we can remove that by just by doing a shape around the car. Okay, now I can even change the color of the car by controlling the hue. Control, I can make it into a green car or a blue car. 